how to get started with drone inspection services. Flying a commercial drone is the way to go if you have a drone pilot license. But if you don't have your drone license yet, and you want to become a professional drone pilot, we suggest you sign up for the course before you take the FAA exam. There are several training program available out there. You can also sign up for the course in the link below if interested. So, that is the first step to take if you want to make money flying drones. If you to learn more about how fly drones for profit, check out our tutorial video, How to Make Money Flying Drones. But, in this video, the focus will be on drone inspection business. So let's dig into it. What do you need to know to start a drone inspection business? There are various options now for drone professionals as a career. Inspection services are one of these pets. In this video we'll shed the light on what you need to know to start a drone inspection company, you will learn about. 1. What projects to expect. 2. What equipment do you need. And 3. How much to charge for your services. What will you be doing? What projects to expect? The drone inspection business is really broad in terms of services a drone owner can provide. The most in-demand services are 1. Roof inspection. In the event of a natural disaster homeowners or repair contractors may request a drone inspection so reconstruction work can only begin once the roof has been properly inspected. A roof inspection is not something new. The employees used to be always in the threat of falling from the height. Now, a professional drone inspector can take deep information about the surface of the roof without risking his life. 2. Industrial inspection. Drones made this job fast, easy, and safe. A drone can fly around huge industrial structures in no time, while they are running. A drone can provide a real-time video feed of the equipment and operation of the industry to the staff on the ground. 3. Construction related inspection and mining. A drone can fly over the area and provide the best 3D model of the topography. The project management team can examine the project by watching the photos and videos generated by the drone without even visiting the site. 4. Power lines inspection. As power lines run for miles, it is very difficult to inspect them in detail without drone technology. Thermal faults are detected easily by drones having thermal cameras fitted in them. Equipment you need. To start the business, you may not need all this equipment but having most of them will provide you greater opportunities in terms of the vastness of the pool of services you can provide. Here is a list of the most important equipment you need. A drone with the GPS guidance and a replaceable lading. Almost, in every industry and type of work, you need your drone to have automated flying capability enabled in it, and that capability is not possible without GPS guidance. You also need to be able to mount some other equipment to your drone. Such as camera with a zoom lens or thermal camera. A high resolution camera having smart features. The camera of your drone should have the ability to shoot videos of at least 4K and photos of 12 MP. Drones with these specs are available at very fair prices. Infrared thermal camera. Is a fancy tool you may add to your drone inspection setup. It can detect energy that cannot be seen through the naked eye. This technology is mostly used in power line inspections and industrial inspections. Photogrammetry software. It is used for the creation of 3D models of inspected areas and surfaces. Photogrammetry is a technique where a huge number of photos of a structure are observed and stitched together to create its 3D model. This technique doesn't require rocket science, you just need to have the software and you're good to go. Electromagnetic shielding. As we know an electronic device can emit electromagnetic signals. These signals can mess with the communication and electronic systems of your drone and can make it out of your control. So, 
If you want to fly your drone somewhere near a large industrial equipment or electrical appliances then an electromagnetic shield for your drone is a must-have device. How much to charge for your services? The drone business industry is still very new. So there are no fixed standards of rates and prices for specific services. As compared to other drone services, like filmmaking and real estate photography, the drone inspection business is more specialized. Drone inspection has a small number of pilots too. Considering these factors, a drone inspector can expect higher rates for the services he offers. The rates also depend upon the technicality of the task and the risk you are taking. In industrial inspection, for example, a beginner can charge for about $50 per hour, and if you can offer 3D modeling services, then you can charge up to $250 per hour. In the construction and mining industry, where usually in-house projects are offered based on the length of the project, a drone provider can earn from $50,000 to $75,000. Inspection for power lines, industrial equipment, and cell towers, are jobs involving more technicalities, and thus, are paid higher than the other drone inspection jobs. Now. In order to understand how it feels like on the ground, let's fly over to a real-world project. We are out at the remnants of a power park uh, where we were brought out here previously to film the implosion, which was the main event of clearing out this site. But it's over a year later, and they're still working. These were our circulating water lines. Uh, so you move the cooling towers that were over here. They were the pipes that are nine foot in diameter that took water from the power block over to the towers to okay. cut down. So they run under a road. So we have to fill them in to make sure they never destroy the road. So, but we need to know how much material we have to bring in to yeah. do that. You want to or, get a look inside the pipes. That is going to be real tight. Do you think we can do it though? Maybe you can do it. You don't think you can get in there? Oh, I can get in there. It's getting out would be a little it's tricky. getting back out. So we have like a screen, will that, and we'll be able to plug it into our goggles and it'll give you a live HD video. Will that record it? Have yes. If the drone actually goes down yeah. so you don't lose the footage? So we'll be able to record multiple. I'm not going to send like an action camera because I don't want to risk that. The goggles that I'll be wearing will record onto the goggles themselves a 720p image, and that we get no matter what. So even if the drone goes down and it's gone, well, at the very least, get that 720p so image. goggles are a much better resolution than they were when you came out last year. I really think we're losing a drone today. Oh, yeah, I, I, I totally think we're losing a drone. Probably mine. The height is really concerning. We got these uh, right. Cinewebs hooked up with LED lights because nice. it's also going to be dark in there. So Edwin just got here. This is one of the best pilots in Florida. We brought him out here. We want to have all the skill available to us. This is looking like it's going to be a pretty difficult mission. Yeah, we might just make this Edwin's problem to deal with. Oh, just nice. don't lose our drone because they can't send anyone down there because this is like a slide, right? So they've excavated it as much as they can, but like you couldn't send a person in there because it could just yeah. bury him alive, right? Nerves of steel. That's why we brought him here. So this is the DJI Smart Controller, and it's the device you need if you want to get video out onto a screen from the goggles. So this is going to plug into Edwin's goggles. We just plug this USB in right here. Mud you got on there. Oh, oh my god. Right. That's crazy. It's back. 
You made it back? Let's go have a footage review. Nope. How well could you see? The light worked really well, dude, but all I could see was a long ass hallway, just uh -huh. just nothing but darkness at the end. A long, yeah. scary hallway of water. That's pretty badass. Dude, you went deep in there? Is that enough? Uh, is that a good view? Dude, that is a scary view coming out of there. Yeah. And like you were coming backwards and then you rotated like right at the last minute before the rebar. I was scared to turn around, dude. You were scared to yaw in there because it's, so, yeah. it's so hard to yaw without tapping the throttle by accident. And if you start drifting towards the wall, like, and you yeah. start overcorrecting and stuff, uh -huh. you're gonna, it's gonna, you're gonna die. So the other thing they want to have us do here is get some aerial flyovers. So they want to show some kind of before and after. So they have drone shots before the demolition started. So we're gonna get just some flyover shots. We're just gonna make a round around the entire site. They've got a couple of zones that they want to get footage of. For going into the pipe and doing that inspection, we didn't want to risk any uh, action cameras, so we were just using the footage that came straight off the air unit or was recorded to the goggles. Uh, now that we're not really gonna be flying in a pipe that we might not uh, recover from, we're gonna be throwing some action cameras. We got the DJI Osmo action here, so that we'll actually get like a good 4K image. And we'll just give you the screen, and you can just tell us where to steer. Alright, now fly around. See the building on your right there? Oops, spin around. There you go. Okay. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Let us know if you had a good time. And, thank you for watching.